I would like to propose a toast to the birthday girl who is a national treasure. But she's not a national treasure, at least she's a local attraction. Happy birthday, dear. I would also like to recognize and thank Rita Neely over here, my co-conspirator, who happened to take us to work here at just the right day, because we were having a party here today. And I was right across the street, which was very cool and convenient. Thank you very much for that. I also want to give the uh, Long Distance Award, the person who traveled the longest to get here, my daughter Beth, the husband of and my daughter Cassie. I also want to give the Guest Blessed Award to my grandson Brian, Brian standing for the night. I would like to thank our family physician and good friend, Dr. John Tedeschi and his wife, Sherry. Dr. Tedeschi, thank you so much for keeping us on our this long. Thank you again for coming on such a wonderful, beautiful day. Do you have anything to say? Hi Bernice, happy birthday to you on this big occasion. You might be surprised to know that uh, I'm actually filming this on my 69th birthday, January the 6th. So we're the same vintage and hope for many more healthy years. I'm so proud to have been a part of your uh, getting to this point. I think we met around 25 years ago and uh, it's been a wonderful relationship ever since with you and Dick. I very much enjoyed it very appreciative of everything that you have done for Strang, for our events, and for me personally. So I want to wish you a very happy birthday, as we say in England, many happy returns, and many healthy years ahead. So take care. Wish I was there with you. Bye. Happy birthday. We couldn't make it. As you can see, we're on the beautiful beaches of Hawaii. Of Hawaii. We, we, we couldn't make it. Pay no attention to the fact that we're all in sweaters and hoodies and stuff. But we really are on the beaches of Hawaii. And look, at, look at Jordan with the coconut, with, with a painting and an address, but apparently <laughs> appears a, a mailing label. On, on, at any rate, listen, happy 87th birthday. Uncle Fred. That's Frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Burn. You know, when Dick told me he was having this party for you, I said I'd get on a plane and I'd be there. 
And he said, no, no, it's too much trouble. I don't want you to go to the expense. Just, just do a little videotape wishing her uh, the, your best wishes. And uh, I said, no, no, I, I will make an effort to be there. And he said, well, I don't know what day it's going to be. And he hemmed and hawed. And he, he finally said, but if you do show up, if you do get a chance to show up, I'll sit you with Leo Lawson, David Suskind, and Edward Newman. And I can take a hint. So uh, here I am in Palm Springs wishing you a very happy birthday. I see Bernice, Cunningham, Weiss, and Abrams. Flash cards of the mind. Oh, the way we're drinking. Hi, hi. You know this wonderful person? Yes, it's me, Tony. And John, and John Polito. Oh, yeah, and John Polito, yes. And we want to wish you a happy new year and, and a happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What? Bernice. 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 Yeah, Bernice. Seven Bernice. One two. You already know it's Bernice, isn't it? We're done. Isn't it another song? It's like Bernice. It's not our fault. It's New Year's. We've been him. Bernice, hi, it's Storm. Just wanted to let you know that I had seen it on C-SPAN and I understood that in point of fact you were having a birthday and it's an important birthday and um, and I just thought I would congratulate you on doing it um, and letting you know also that I uh, really miss you. Hope it's a wonderful birthday. Take care. Bye. Rumor has it, a flower of Brooklyn is about to be 70 years old. It's pretty hard to believe. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't make it. Or maybe I'm on the way, one of the two. But I wanted to wish you a very, very happy 70th birthday. And I, I just don't understand how you put up with Dick all these years. Bernice. John Polito here. Yeah, Bernice, it's uh, Tony Dennison here. And we were wondering why a beauty like you married a guy like Richard Cunningham? Uh, hey. Is he like a leftover Wilford from Happy Days? He's like a Wilford Brim. No, he's like a leftover from choice Happy Days. Man, real man, man like this. Yes, yeah, Although real man. Like Wilford Italian Brim. man. That's the only way to go. Actually, Italian I really man. like people named Cunningham. Do you know that there are two, only two great truths in the world? Prudes. No. no. <laughs> He's from New York, from Prudes in the world. Nobody doesn't do anything they don't really want to do, and everybody loves Italian food. So it stands to reason that if you love Italian food, and? then you would love Italian men. No, 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 no. no. Women? Or have Italian men cook the Italian. Bernice, hey, Paisano, let me tell you something. Yeah. You marry a white boy is good. Hello, Bernice son. How are you doing? Today, I'd like to send a message for you to celebrate your 70th birthday. It was already 30 years ago when we worked together to promote Panasonic image in the United States by means of video news. At that time, the corporate name was Matsushita Electric, someone pronounced M -m 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 Matsushita, but and it was very hard to pronounce, even for Dixon. Planning of the series of the video news to introduce the company's technologies were of great interest for me. Young guy at that time. See, young guy.
In 2009, I was the head of the operation of the Japan Prize Foundation and to introduce the laureates of that year, Dr. Meadows and Dr. Ku, in a press conference. I remembered your ability to produce attractive short video and ask to you to do so. The video was very widely used not only for the conference and broadcasting on TV. I'm very much owing to your great effort and support, Bunny san and Dick san. I'm sorry for terrible voice because of the cold I have and I'm afraid to show my ugly looking face of old boy. Happy birthday to you and have fun from Ken Shimba, Kyoto, Japan. Happy birthday, Bernice. Wait, Many wait, happy wait, returns. Wait, 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 you don't even know Bernice. Well, you don't even know Bernice either. Bernice is my people. Hey, happy hey, birthday. Happy birthday, Bernice. Happy birthday! to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to Bernice and whatever you have your name is Bernice happy birthday to you this is one of those things where we truly wish you were here in the warmth of Florida to celebrate your birthday with us Hey, welcome to the world of 70s. You're catching up with me. I hope you enjoy your wonderful day. We miss you. We wish we could see be you in there. June. And we'll see you in June. Goodbye. Bye. Adios. Happy birthday. Hi, Bernie. Jim Cameron, how are you? It's been a few years, hasn't it? I wish you the very best on this, your uh, 70th birthday. It got me thinking. Um, you know, March of this year, my wife and I are going to be celebrating our 25th anniversary. See the, the ring? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to give you the finger there. Uh, 25 years. Now, what I've never told her is that a few years before we were married, you and I were married, at least for uh, one dinner. I, I think I'll let Dick explain that to those who were not there, so... He understands where he fits in the lineage of uh, lucky people to be married to you. Uh, very best on this year's 70th birthday. Be well. Hi, Bern. Bill Bacconi here. Just wanting to wish you a happy 90th birthday. God, you look beautiful for 90. You're great. Hold on, hold on. Linda's calling me. Oh, she just told 70. Well, well you, you, you look good for 70. You really do. Um, we want to wish you a happy birthday. We love you. Linda can't be here because she hurt her back and she's bed bound. But she told me to make sure I wish you a happy birthday from her and to tell you we miss you and we love you. Bye-bye. Hello, dear friend. All my dear friend, celebrate your birthday. Happy birthday. From Osaka to New Jersey. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bernice. Happy birthday to you. So, happy birthday, Bern. Happy 70th uh, to Dick's better half and my favorite part of the Cunningham family. Uh, may you have a joyous celebration, uh, a wonderful birthday day, lots of uh, good uh, wishes and presents and uh, uh, just know that uh, uh, you know we're uh, very fond of you always thinking of you and uh, 
you know, want uh, only uh, the happiest day and happiest everything going forward uh, from hopefully your favorite mayor. Well, Bernie, it doesn't really seem like it could be 70 years, does it? I uh, personally quit counting about 60. Didn't uh, particularly care to see that thing go up and up and up and up. So I just quit having birthdays. Anyway, happy birthday. Uh, all the best to you. Sure had some good times. I will uh, hopefully see you not too distant future. Happy birthday, Bernice! Hi, Bernice! Happy birthday! This is Gary Porter from the old Wichita crew. A lot from a long time ago. I'm thinking about the memories that I have of our travels around from Jamaica to Japan. Good grief, everywhere. And I want to thank you for letting me be part of the crew. Anyway, happy birthday to you, Bernice. I uh, hope you have many, many more. And say hello to Dick for me. Bye. Oh, by the way, this is the first and the last selfie that this old man will ever do. I mean, I get too old for this foolishness. Goodbye. Hi, Big Bad Bernie. I feel so blessed to still be around to be able to wish you a happy 70th. And I hope you live a hundred years more and they're happy and healthy. And just remember, if you ever, ever need a laugh, remember Muriel's shoes. I love you.